Hillary, and today I'm going to show you how to mix brine for your ferments. In North America, we ferment a lot of beets and cabbage, which create their own brine when you add salt to them. For everything else, we need to add brine. I'm going to prepare one liter of a 2% brine solution to show you how it's done. I've already measured out my one liter of water, and now I need to measure my salt. I'm going to use a digital scale. Go ahead and turn it on. and. Uh, Put a small dish on it and then I'm going to hit the tear button so that it says zero again. Make sure that I'm on grams. Now everything that I add to the dish, the scale is only going to weigh the salt. So I need 20 grams of salt to make a 2% brine. The math is really very easy. It's 1,000 milliliters of water, which is the same thing as 1,000 grams. And uh, oops, I got a little too much there. Just want 20. So 20 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.02 or 2%. 2 if I wanted to make a 3.5% brine, for example, for pickles, uh, I would add 35 grams of salt. We've actually created a very handy magnetic chart for you to purchase on probioticjar.com. You can stick it on your refrigerator and keep it handy. Um, this will help you calculate the amount of salt that you need for the quantity of water that you're using. There's also a paragraph on here that uh, talks about how much salt to add for your self-brining vegetables. So now I'm just going to pour my salt into my water and stir as I go. You'll see that the super fine pink Himalayan salt will dissolve fairly quickly. If you're using a table grind salt, uh, you'll just need to stir it longer. It takes longer to dissolve. You'll also find that there's probably going to be some minerals in there that just won't dissolve at all. Um, and that's fine. That's normal. Uh, for that reason, I'm going to just continue stirring as I pour into my jar to make sure we get all of those minerals in there um, so they can be available for the beneficial bacteria. Normally, I would have this filled up um, with vegetables, um, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just pour this into the empty jar and stir as I go. So as you can see, it's very easy to do. It only takes about a minute. Thank you for watching.